Firefighters continue to work on a warehouse fire in West Easton. You can see just how thick the smoke was earlier today. Our Nikki Dimentri Joy just attended a news conference about that fire and joins us now with the very latest. Good evening, Nikki. Siafa, we just entered hour 12 of first responders and firefighters being on scene here in West Easton at this warehouse fire. You can see crews remain on scene right now. They are working to put out hot spots. And as the wind blows, we are also experiencing some ash blowing in our direction as well. I want to take a look, though, at the shots from earlier today, the drone shots of just how massive this fire was. Officials say the call came in around 5 a.m. to 1550 Lehigh Drive. That's just yards away from the Lehigh River. Now, nearly two dozen fire companies, with the majority being volunteer companies, the Red Cross and Northampton County Emergency Management Services, they all responded. Volunteer firefighters I spoke with told me throughout the day, community members have been giving them food and water. Hazmat crews were also on scene as a precaution since hazardous materials may have been in the building. Both the water in the Lehigh River and air quality tests were done after concerns were raised. Officials say so far everything has come back okay. Now, I spoke with a nearby business owner who is also monitoring this fire. Ash covered the hoods of cars in his parking lot. I'm still a little worried. You know, there's ash floating through the air. You just don't know. Uh, it's not. Too bad here until recently. Most of it's like kind of blowing over us and going elsewhere in the city, but like it's kind of, we're so close, I think it's traveling above us almost. Luckily, all the fire trucks are all parked out front of our place too, so I can't imagine something happening, but it still makes you worry. And officials tell us two excavators are on scene. They are working to take the collapsed roof off inside that building. That, as fire crews remain again putting out hot spots, they say they're going to be here throughout the evening. The fire was placed under control around 10:30 this morning, and at this time, no injuries have been reported. Yuki Siafa. Nikki, thank you for that update.